Hey everybody, it's Captain Drew Cavanaugh with Florida Inshore Fishing Charters located in East Central Florida and today we're going to do another review on a firearm that I recently bought and it's from a company called North American Arms located out in Utah, good old American made company. So like the bodyguard review that I did not long ago, I figured I'd do this review and just show my personal thoughts on it and let everybody know um, what you think about it. So let's get started. and uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to do a non-fishing related out-of-the-box review of a, um, a firearm I just bought that I'm going to use for concealed carry. Uh, I did a review a few years ago over the Smith & Wesson Bodyguard 380 for concealed carry which I still have and I still use quite a bit but uh, not long ago I had the opportunity to um, fire a couple North American arms uh, with a friend. Uh, I liked the fact on how light it was being a small Derringer and living here in Florida <clears throat> excuse me the the ability to carry the 380 is great at times when you've got certain kinds of shorts on or pants on you can put it inside the belt uh, with a certain holster or put it in your coat or whatever um, but at times when it's really really hot out or especially I was really looking at this particular firearm for when I ride my bicycle so the the 380 you know to put it in a pair of sweatpants or something like that when you're on the bike it's really heavy and you could tell it's there so like I said this is going to be really nice for that purpose and just an all around all around extra concealed carry or just you know a fun little gun to target shoot with too if you want um, it holds five rounds uh, I bought the uh, Sidewinder um, conversion kit one that comes with the 22 long rifle and it shoots also the 22 uh, Winchester Magnum. So we're going to do an open uh, out of the box. Um, uh, I'm going to show you what comes in the box and all that kind of good stuff. And then we're going to go out here in a little bit and I'll shoot uh, some rounds through it just to see how it does and all that kind of stuff. Now I do want to make it crystal clear that, you know, just like my last review I did with the bodyguard, I am not a professional firearms expert, so I might make mistakes. I'll never forget the day I made a video, and God forbid I called the magazines a clip, and everybody and their brother got so technical on me until, you know, until what's funny, you start going to websites like the TSA, and they don't call them magazines, they call them clips, like prohibited items to bring on board, they say clips, and the guy told me there, he said, we don't call them magazines, banned magazines, because he said then people would not bring reading material. So, you know, well, it's all fine, but this is a review from just an average person's perspective. I would say 99% of the people that conceal carry are just an average person, a woman, husband, wife, father, mom, daughter, son, you know, friend, whatever, that wants to protect themselves. So I support the Second Amendment. Um, I like to conceal carry when I can. And uh, also, I'm also going to make it crystal clear, do not use my video as instructions on how to operate this. I'm going to show you a little bit on how to do it. But I beg you to read the directions that come with it, read the instructions. If you have to, contact North American Arms. Um, be safe. Be safe, be safe, be safe with every firearm. Now, I also want to say, yeah, I did open the box. You know, obviously I had to when you buy a firearm. Um, I, it's fully unloaded right now. I just checked a full minute ago. Um, we're going to look at this. And it comes in a very nice box. Um open it up. Now it comes with a little lock box which is just a metal box uh, you know just something neat and all that. So we'll open it up and here's the firearm. Now I will say one thing I do like 
about these weapons, let's see if you can see it there, is it is made in the good old United States of America. Now, like I said, I bought the conversion kit, 22 Winchester Magnum, and then it comes with the interchangeable cylinder for the 22 long rifle. And the way you do that is when you open up the cylinder, you just take out that screw and uh, take this one off, put that one on. It takes you maybe three, four seconds, so not too bad. Now, the only thing that's weird that I can't get really an answer for, I mean, unless there's a firearm expert out there that can post up or something, is most revolvers, the cylinder opens to the left. This one opens up to the right, which is not a problem or anything. It's just, I don't know, I'm trying to figure that one out. So, um, now the way you open the cylinder is you pull it back till it clicks the first time, and then just kind of... Okay, so let's say we load it. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, Winchester Magnums here, which... I wound up buying for what I think I carry it. I'm going to carry the uh, Hornady Critical Defense 45 grain. Um, now for a quick ballistic side note, I did do some research. It says out of a rifle barrel it'll travel around 2,000 feet per second. Out of this gun it should travel right around 1,000 feet, 1,150, 1,200 I guess max, which is, that's fine. I mean, again, I'm not paying attention to that kind of stuff. But So let's say you load it. Uh, then what you're going to do is once you put it in there, you're just going to kind of bring that back and put that up in there. There we go. And that just pops right in there and she's all loaded up. Now, it's a single action only. So every time you squeeze the trigger, pull the hammer back, squeeze the trigger, it's going to uh, discharge the, the, the shell. Then you got to pull it back again and do the same thing. Now... From what I'm being told uh, on their website, other people I've talked to, uh, the people, I, I bought this at Florida Gun Exchange in Port Orange, Florida, or I'm sorry, Ormond Beach, Florida, uh, Daytona Beach, just a little bit north where I live, and um, great guys, I bought many firearms from them, uh, if, I rec if, if you're going to buy a firearm anywhere in Central Florida, go to them, they're knowledgeable, they say never ever dry fire this, so don't want to dry fire it. Now the other nice feature that I like is, okay, see if I can do this here. You can see a, a big notch there, then a little notch there, then a big notch, little notch. And when those are lined up like that, the firearm is hot. There's a shell, the, the cylinder is lined up with the barrel. Now what they've done is they've made a safety feature on it. And the way this works is you rotate this until those line up and then as you pull the hammer back squeeze the trigger a little bit and lower it into the firewall there's a little notch in there and now that's in a locked position you can see where this cylinder and that cylinder are kind of blocked by the body of the firearm so now it's in a locked position and it's safe to carry I highly recommend you read the directions and go over that on how to operate that. It took me a few times to figure it out, but now that I can do it and do it quick, it's not that bad. Uh, they say not to ride around with it on a chamber. Uh, it should be on a chamber because of a discharge, accidental discharge, which I'm going to get into the habit of riding around. Basically, again, what you do is you can see the firewall. Just kind of pull back, and as you pull back, squeeze the hammer, rotate that till those notches are, the big notch is lined up with the big notch, the little notch is lined up with the little notch, and as you lower it down, it's going to go into the firewall and stop it right there. See, I cannot rotate it. Rotate maybe a 32nd of an inch, 64th of each way, and that's in safe position. And let's say it's fully loaded. Let's say a situation comes up to where you need to use it, all you got to do is you don't have to take it out of safe mode or anything. You just pull the hammer back and then squeeze the trigger and bam, you're ready to go. Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to shoot it a couple times. 
and we'll see uh, how she fires and see if there's any recoil, what the sounds like, and all that kind of good stuff. And again, overall, what a great little gun. A lot of options that come with it. I've noticed they sell grips for it. Uh, they sell all kinds of holsters for it. Um, retail price is anywhere between $400 and $500 for this particular model. Uh, you know, the bodyguard was right around $350, $299. I think when I bought it now, they're four, what, $400. Depends on what features you get on it. Again, it's a great little carry gun also. But this one, I mean, my goodness, it weighs less than, uh, you know, your, your wallet. It weighs less than, um, uh, um, but other than that, let's go shoot it and let's see how fun it is. Okay, so we're out here in um, a, ro a remote part of the woods that I have access to and we're going to test fire this um, North American Arms 22 long rifle, 22 Winchester Magnum. A uh, little Derringer carry that uh, I picked up um, as at the beginning of this video I described. And, and right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the camera pointed towards the target, the impact at the target if I hit it. And then uh, I'm going to point the camera to me so you can actually see the weapon being fired. Um, can't stress this enough, I'm not a professional firearms ex expert, so if you get this weapon or any weapon, consult a professional. Um, just use this video as my my review, my opinion on it. I like it so far. I also like the Smith & Wesson bodyguard. But the two rounds that we're going to shoot, this is going to be the one that I'm going to carry um, for uh, self-defense. It's a Hornady, uh, uh, what, 22 Winchester uh, Magnum uh, rifle. I think it's 45 grain ballistic tip. And then I'm also going to shoot uh, some rat shot, shot shell, or also called snake shot. I think what a lot of people call it. I just call it rat shot. But uh, get you a quick view of that. So there's the rat shot, and then there's the little ballistic tip Winchester magnet. Okay, so now here's the view for me about oh, I'd say uh, let's say um, uh, uh, 20 feet away, which is probably optimal for, again for this little firearm. You know, it's not designed for close. Uh, major combat and all that kind of stuff and again I want to stress that if this is you're going to be your first concealed carry weapon I would not suggest this um, this is a more advanced weapon for somebody who has a little bit better knowledge of how to handle and hold a firearm how to operate a firearm um, it can be tricky for somebody that's never you know picked up a firearm just to go say hey this is going to be my first gun ever um, it takes some uh, getting used to, so I would highly suggest that you uh, don't start off with this firearm. And again, I'm not a professional firearms instructor. This is my personal view of this gun, um, handgun, and uh, I like it. Uh, it's going to be fun to carry. And well, let's see what this thing can do at a fairly close range. Um, I put up a paper target here, uh, so you can see... Uh, um, what it does on the target if I even hit the target. This is going to be the first time I've shot this weapon, so let's see what happens. And there we go. So three isn't too bad for the first time. I have to admit if that was a target of um, in a life and death situation. I see this one, this one, this one. Eh, it's hard to tell where the other ones hit. Now I'm also going to try some shot shell, rat shot. Uh, I brought that along. Let's see what that does. So let me load this back up and we'll do that. Okay, so my light's shifting a little bit here, so my target, um, it's getting shadier, so I'm going to hurry up and get this done. And again, being safe, I'm out here in a remote area where there's not a soul around um, on some land I have access to. So I've loaded in 22 Winchester Magnum um, uh, shot shell, I call it rat shot, and I thought this would be good to carry, you know, um, whether you're out hiking, fishing, you know, like even on my bike, encounter a bad dog or something. Or if you have to use it for, you know, a rat. 
I think they also call it snake shot, but honestly, I don't see any reason to shoot a snake. Um, you know, you avoid them, they'll avoid you. All right, so I'm about, um, again, maybe seven, eight meters away. And let's see how this shoots here. There we go. As you can see, I see quite a few hundred pellets penetrated on that thing. And again, I apologize for the shadows. I'm out here in a really tree section. There's a lot of shadows. Nice sunny floor today. All right, so there you have it. Okay, so here's a better close-up of that uh, shot shell, rat shot, snake shot, whatever you want to call it. Um, you know, pretty much, um, I mean, if you were going to use that in self-defense, five, six feet away, and you put that in somebody's face, <laughs> it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. It's going to F them up. Um, I wouldn't use that as self-defense to carry because if you're in a crowd or something, you have to defend yourself or defend, defend somebody, some, if you have to defend somebody else, uh, look where all that's going. There's no control over it. Um, I like to use those right there. So I hope that's a little bit better view there. Okay, so we're going to discharge this at the target. Um, seven, eight meters away, 20 feet, something like that. Not too bad. Uh, hope the light's good. I'm filming this production by myself. So here we go. So and there you have it, the um, uh, North American Arms 22 long rifle Winchester Magnum comes with two barrels, I mean comes with two cylinders, one for the long rifle, one for the Winchester Magnum uh, sidewinder. Perfect little weapon. Again, it's not designed for a first time gun owner weapon. Um, I would consult a firearms dealer on what would be ideal for you. But you saw this thing shoot and I mean just the way it handled. It holds, it's light, it's fun. I want to thank everybody for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And if you got any questions,